I hope this thing works. I really, really do. We are in my basement today and we're on my live streaming setup that I actually, I've only used it one time and it did not work out very well, well at all because I didn't have my ethernet plugged in, but I found a way to plug in my computer down in the basement to the ethernet. So maybe we'll do a live stream here eventually, but today we're going to be looking at an old video from this past season. So it's really not that old, but we're going to be taking a look at one of my videos from this past season and we're going to kind of watch along with it and do a little commentary on it because this was probably one of my favorite hunts from this past season. And it was a really cold, like cold front coming through that morning kind of day, icy, snowy, windy, awesome duck hunting conditions. So I loaded up the kayak, went out on public waters, out on a big lake and uh, smacked some mallards. So if you guys like this video, leave me a thumbs up. I'm planning on doing some more of these kind of style of videos where we're going to take a look at some old content and talk it over because there's a lot of stuff that you don't see on the videos because I try to keep them between you know, like 10 to 20 minutes long. So I try to just film the important things that you guys want to see. So we're going to take this time in the off season to take a look at some of those videos and really kind of share some information on them. So please excuse any technical difficulties that we have on these, because like I said, I'm just starting to figure this out and uh, we'll go from there. But if you guys are interested, I still have some of these hats and these hoodies and all of my shirts on the website available and ready to be shipped to your door. So go ahead and click the link in the description and head over to the website, pick up a hat or a hoodie and show your support to the channel and these are the real tree timber hats and they've got to be my absolute favorite hat that i've ever come out with so i know i have a few of them left they do have the puff embroidery on them Let's see if it'll focus but yeah we got the puff embroidery it's really cool hat but let's go ahead and take a look at this video like i said this is from this past season i believe it was in early november when we had a cold front come through so let's check her out good morning Today is going to be a pretty big migration day, so I'm going out in the kayak. Got uh, a dozen mallard decoys, got a dozen teal decoys, just because they're small. Figured they'd work really well, and I also got a dozen of these. Uh, that's that's a lot of decoys for that so kayak. I, I remember paddling in, and it was north wind. It's kind of paddling in wasn't bad, but paddling out when the wind started and, picking up. Uh, the yeah, wind was the, the decoys and the blind and everything cold, on that kayak was catching but, the wind. Uh, it was pretty. Pretty rough paddle out, but shoot six ducks and get back home all the decoys fit. Can. It's going to feel like nine degrees today with the wind chill, so got to be careful. Got to be really, really careful out here on the water, especially with these high wind situations in a kayak. I've done it before. I'm going to a spot that I've hunted before, so nothing too scary out there. Just a little bit of wind, a little bit of raininess going on, so. Yeah, you've, you've got to be I careful think, with the wind if you're out really kayak good. hunting, um, this, especially uh, on a lake. It can be pretty sketchy sometimes, so always be mindful of the wind and yeah, also be mindful of, like, stumps it. in the Before water because I remember on this hunt, I actually did up, hit a stump on the paddle and it scared the crap out of me. Luckily, my kayak stable enough to where it didn't tip me over. It just kind of was a thump, but... Quite Always be careful. Maybe do a practice good. run in the summertime in these places that you might go kayak hunt so then you know what to expect when you go out there when it's 9 degrees outside. Too close to the bank, but it is what it is. I'm thinking that Rogers hat is looking like right fine here. as a dime. I might post up in I actually really like that hat. It's windproof. Kayak, at least at first light when these ducks can't really see. And then when the, when the sun starts coming up, then I'll probably tuck back in the kayak and get a little bit more concealed. But I think it'd be really good to just stand here and uh, shoot whatever ducks come in their first light because they'll probably have a hard time seeing me if I'm tucked up against some of these trees. It's yeah, going to be a I good day. we got that a tree. stiff wind and it's kind of snowing a little bit. This is a migration day if I've ever seen one. So it'll be good. It'll be good. Not as cold as I thought it was going to be, but maybe it's just because I've been up and moving around all day. Yes, so it was. We'll see what happens when I sit down in the blind. But we'll get after it here. Hopefully we can shoot some ducks today. This was a fun hunt. This this was just first light. Mallards just cruising around the lake looking for water and other buddies. So it was, it was pretty cool. I wasn't expecting groups of mallards like this on this hunt. You know, I was, I was expecting, you know, maybe group of three, group of seven 
group of two. Nice start to the day. But Hold yeah. Of Notice I'm wearing those decoy gloves. If you're kayak hunting, get a pair of decoy gloves because they will save your hands when you're paddling. And that was before I put the whoop grass on the blind. That was all natural. Just natural growing grass that I cut down. Planted short. Planted short. Oh, how did I know I was going to say that? Those jerks. I hate it there when ducks go. land short like got that. A, uh, Susie. I'm not going to bend over myself. She's right there. Looking pretty. I'm going to put the camera up. we got a bunch of ducks coming in right I now. Hate, I hate it when ducks are flying and i got to update you guys on the camera. But I, I have to do it. got to tell you things. But I hate that I'm going to miss a group or two because I've got the camera out. Oh, gosh, uh, that's a big group. Sometimes I just throw the camera down and shoot. But sometimes you don't see that. That's a good group of mallards right there. My shooting was a little bit off this day. I think I got two out of there. That's and cool. uh, shooting was a little bit off. But I think it was just excitement. This was the first mallard limit of the year. You know, the fresh early season kind of jitteries. But... Also, here's a quick tip for kayak hunters. Look how I've got my kayak angled. It's off to the right a little bit, not pointing directly straight at the spread. That makes it a lot easier to shoot when the oh, birds Mr. go off Greenhead, to doing? the sides. So, same thing with layout blinds. If you use layout blinds, same thing. Um, try it out. You'll understand if you're right-handed or left-handed, you got to do it opposite. But um, right, I always I angle mine off to the right because it's easier for me to pull my Ooh. gun up. I'm I'm swing a left today. because if I'm Shot my got my hands. blind facing straight, so, uh, pull up, it's really kind of hard to swing. Two, so. two Susies there. Gives you yeah, a good coverage. Right Look at that. Freaking mallards, bro. Look at that. I love mallards. I love these birds. This cold uh, front is mallards. not disappointing me today. All I know is the paddle out might be a little bit rough. At this Go point, it's probably like 7.45 in the morning. That wind really catches the kayak, especially with the blind on it, so... Gotta be careful. So we got we got tons of ducks and uh, big groups of mallards working in right low on the deck, just like I like them. So I remember on this hunt, I did actually see anything more than this. I saw a group of bluebills buzz me. Um, what a beautiful day! I was just kind of in la la land. You know how you get when you're just spacing out when ducks aren't flying, then you just get buzzed by a group. Yeah, I got buzzed by a group of uh, bluebills, and I figured that they would zip around and come back, but they never did. <laughs> Gosh, I just cut the camera out. A lot of group coming in. Man, they wanted in that hole, and they wanted in there bad. See that that duck should have been a dead duck, and then I would have had my limit. Oh, I, that's that's the worst. Is when you you just barely miss that last duck, and you're trying to get two out of one group and be done. See that first one was a no brainer, and then you see this one just flying away right in the center there. Yeah, Should have hit him, but you know, it's like reviewing footage from like a football game and things that you don't that. notice until you look at the video. Hey, you're just so focused on what's going on at the time. What a beaut! Gorgeous birds. That, that kayak has seen a lot of dead ducks in it. Oh my that, gosh, yesterday when I scouted. I love, I love, love hunting out of that kayak. Four ducks. We got to push. Freaking mallards. Yeah, I did go I scout the day really before do. and only saw oh, really just a handful like of ducks out there. So yeah, I was just kind of playing the front and hoping none. for the best that day. I didn't have any other options. Matter. In my personal opinion, I like them a lot. A green head. I'm gonna shoot. See, there's one of those moments you're talking to the camera and then you got a duck working. Happens every time. Same thing with picking up decoys when your hunt's not going very well. Quick limit. Don't have to sit out in the cold for too long. Perfect. Let's get this last duck. You can see the you're ice inside the too. blind. I mean, that, that was a cold freaking day. <laughs> Might have been my shot. 
think that was a teal that buzzed. Now, if you're curious about the decoy spread, the wind was coming from right to left. So I made a J hook. Boom, there's a dead duck. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, no I made a J hook moment. from top right of the there. J is right where you're looking on the left side. And it hooks around to the right. You can kind of see that J hook decoy spread. It's because I was in a cove. And so I wanted to hunt more out by the open lake. But I didn't want to be... Um, on the open lake necessarily, I so I was I was in the shot. cove, and yeah, just, uh, just ran a little J hook out there with using the wind, hunting the crosswind, and it worked great. Let's pick him up. Teal decoys, mallard decoys, and honker decoys. Just paddling your kayak up to a mallard drake. Mm. What more could you possibly want? Those orange feet, though. I live for that right there, that sight right there. Belly up, green head. Yeah. Love it. I don't know what's coming out of your butt, dude. He had like there a chunk we go. of we frozen got poop the on his butt. Mallard limit of the year. Got three greenies and two Susies. Oh, fistful of ducks right there. That's what mm. I'm talking about. I miss that. Whoop. I miss that bad. Two Susies. Whoops. And three green heads. What a freaking day. It's just getting colder and colder as the day goes on. Mm -hmm. I'm so stoked to be limited out by like 8.30. Okay. So that's that's the end of that hunt, and it went really well. Something else you should note is leaving. I could not get home very fast because the roads were all slick with ice, and it was a... Uh, it was no fun. I think we had a bunch of snow come in that evening too, but that was that was a good hunt, and uh, I would love, love, love to have that happen again. Just a solo kayak hunt on a lake, shoot a limited ducks, and get out of there by nine o'clock. There's no better feeling than that. Like I said, that was probably one of my favorite hunts from this past season. I think it was one of my favorites because it was a public land lake hunt on the kayak and I shot a lemon mallards like it was all all the things that I like all in one hunt it was just a blast and uh if you guys are wanting to get into kayak duck hunting I do have a bunch of videos talking about kayak duck hunting on the channel so be sure to check those out if you haven't and um if you guys and if you guys want to see some more videos like this be sure to leave that thumbs up and comment down below if you like this style of video i know it's new i know it's a little bit different but i think it's going to be something that we could definitely do in the off season and it'll be kind of a cool way for me to connect with you guys and share some of the inside stuff from these videos you can follow me on my social media i've got a twitter instagram snapchat and facebook so be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on but that is all I've got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys on the next one.